Welcome to Songwriters from Here and Away. This is a show that focuses on new and established songwriters from Atlanta, Canada, across Canada, and around the world. Thanks for tuning in. My name is Robert Campbell, and this week we are back to the Carlton in Halifax. We had a concert with Ray Bonneville and Jeff Arsenault. Jeff opened up the night and plays guitar and sings, so we're going to start with that, bit of a chat with him as well, and play a track or two if we can find something off one of his albums. Here he is, Jeff Arsenault. Jeff, hello. Hey, man. How this are you? Songwriters from here and away. Yeah, you're right from on. here. Yes, I am. Kinda. Yeah. So yeah. sure. Blue Rock still? Uh, no, no uh, New Harbor, which is out just outside of Blanford. Okay. You know, looking out over um, Tancook Island. Right. Okay. Yeah. 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 It used to be Blue Rocks. It used area. to be Blue Rocks. Yeah. yeah. Just before COVID, we got out of there. I've seen you building things. Right. Yes. And a uh, uh, cabin on the. On the ocean. Yeah, it was a uh, yeah. We bought the property just before COVID, and obviously COVID came and no gigs, zero. Right. So I spent those two years or whatever yeah. it was um, building, building, building. Yeah. So uh, right. the whole f family li living there, cats and do you have a dog? Two cats and my wife. The new cats are are, <laughs> are guys actually. They're brothers. Oh, are they? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Well, you know. The other so, ones were. So the testosterone is overloading oh, the whole man, room. It's just changed yeah. completely. It's, it, it's all it's all estrogen in my world. I, I, I <laughs> yes, right. Uh, you're gonna do a set or so tonight. Yeah, I'm just gonna, uh, you know, probably do 20 minutes, warm things up. Hopefully. Oh, hopefully you can do even more. Well, we'll see if he lets you. Yeah. 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 We'll see. But whatever you want, and uh, we can fill it out with uh, some Dance, tracks dancing as well. With what? Some of your recorded tracks, if oh. we, if, we, if I need <laughs> yeah, to fill right. up. With Scrape that pot, you got to scrape that pot. Where all the good stuff lies. Render your stock, you got to render your stock. Well, deep down. Whatever you decide, render your stock. You got to render your stock well, deep down. Whatever you decide, well, don't be afraid. You might be in too deep. Just one more day, your reward. Everybody reap with your affection. Your your hips get the right taste on your tongue smack your lips you got to smack your lips well, good music just cooks along well soon we'll be time Satisfy everyone. Nine steps to gumbo. Nine steps. 
tips of gumbo. All right. Thank you so much. And uh, we'll just stay down in that uh, part of the world where that stuff comes from. Sounds all right out there, is it okay? We'll be driving down to New Orleans. We'll be driving down to New Orleans. We'll be arriving Land of rice and beans. The river flows into the Gulf of Mexico. The river flows into the Gulf of Mexico. Forget what you've been through, don't worry no more. Cause it's a hard time. Ears are burning, the bass drum is everywhere. Yeah, my ears are burning, the bass drum is everywhere. Well, I guess we're turning on to Jackson Square. Is that be the second line? No doubt about that. Second line, no doubt about that. Well, it's something to remind you right where you're at. And it's a high time, a high time. It's a high time, a high time. It's a high time. We'll be driving, we'll be driving, we'll be driving down to New Orleans. All right, thank you. Uh, 
the Holy Trinity. You know what that is, right? Excellent. That's a few three things, the main things that for a gumbo you got to have. Uh, so this is something I used to do when I lived in Toronto. And uh, uh, you can look me up if you need me after, you know, as time goes on. If you come my way, I'm going to put you down. There's nothing you can say, never again and no how. Now that your life's been robbed, is it heaven or hell? Well, I don't know. I can't tell you. I'm uh, digging this hole just trying to help you. I, I'm your grave digger. It comes a time. Everybody got to go into the fire, oh, into a hole. Or your body might be donated for another soul. Well, here I stand, shovel in my head, waiting on those going back to the land. Oh, I, I'm your grave digger. I put you down. I do it real gentle. This open ground is a long term rental. There ain't no how I'm gonna get sentimental over you. I got a job. Thank you. Because how many albums have you got now? Uh, just two, but I'm working on another one. Okay. New one. It's uh, kind of ha half in the can. Maybe half, maybe a third. Yeah. Um, so I got to get on it again, basically. Yeah. So, so do you do some of that at home? No, I was at John Adams' uh, studio in, in uh, Mahone Bay called uh, Stonehouse Sound. Oh, okay. And Glenn Pascha is uh, producing it. You know, he's oh, good. Great Couldn't find a keyboard player, could you? <laughs> really? I'm <laughs> kidding. And lots of great players on it. Uh, Joey Landreth and uh, Kevin Bright. Oh, fantastic. Uh, Steve Berlin. Um, Incredible. Um, Mike Farrington, Tom Easley right now. Nice. Ray Bonneville. Good. Yeah. Good. Good. Yeah. Lots of uh, guests. Yeah. Nice. So. I'm looking forward to that. Yeah, me too. <laughs> yeah. How many tracks do you figure? Uh, well, I, I record 14, but whether they all make it onto that sure. item or not, but yeah. you know, these yeah. days, I don't know, you just release a song out there. And yeah, you release, around, release so a few songs yeah. and package them together and it's a CD, you know, yeah, I don't know. That's or, right. Or not. Or not. Yeah. Yeah. A USB stick. Yeah. yeah so um, I was talking with Ray earlier and he 
plays guitar and finds inspiration wherever it comes from and right uh like most writers has a pile of bits and pieces how, how does it come to you usually for writing um for writing oh, man that's such a tough question really for me it just i just well, sometimes you get inspired, obviously, by listening to something. You hear something, and then it's like, damn, I'd like to write something like that. Right. You know? And then you listen to some, you delve into that person's music or that band's music more, and you think, okay, maybe I can write something like that anyway, but it kind of yeah. ends up being your thing, obviously, hopefully. Right. Um, yeah, just a, it could be just a, a phrase, a line, it could be a lyric, or it can be a, a riff. You know, whatever, and then it just—it all happens at the same time for me. Yeah, usually. So yeah. you you write the often write the whole song kind of like in a day kind of deal. Uh, ye, well, the basis of it yeah. comes in a, a very short time, and then of course it gets honed over a period of time. Yeah. I could have the music done or thinking it's done, and then I gotta kind of hone the re the uh, lyrics. You right, know. yeah. So um, you, you do a fair bit of editing sometimes? or Yeah, I guess so. Yeah. You call it editing. Yeah, yeah editing. Um, but it's all the same. It's, yeah, the music and the lyrics usually for me happens at the same time. Right. It's, you know, right. It starts as a, a, a groove and uh, obviously a melody and then takes off from there. Yeah. Coincides with each other. It's kind of like a parallel line. You're right. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. All, all at once. Oh, as opposed to a, uh, what do you call it, a trapezoid. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Sometimes it sounds like a trapezoid. This is Jeff Arsenault on Songwriters from Here and Away. Thanks for tuning in. Please do look us up online on YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, and that kind of stuff. Send us an email at songwriters from here and away at gmail.com. Let us know what you're thinking. Maybe you have an artist you'd like to hear on the show. Jeff Arsenault has a number of tunes out on the streaming services, so look him up there. He's mentioned that he's going to be on Bandcamp soon with uh, old albums as well as his new albums coming out probably later this year, early next year. Here's a track that he released previously called Set Them Straight. <laughs> Thank you.
can I don't blow my top You can't help but look so fine It feel good walking with you That is all I gotta say If this message don't get through Lots of songs that don't make it. Oh my God! Yeah, yeah, I yeah. Box of them. <laughs> Do you play uh, other instruments besides guitar? You're doing guitar tonight. Yeah. yeah. Uh, no drums, guitar. Just yeah. Yeah, I know the piano. I can improvise on all the black keys <laughs> and three of the white ones. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, well, there's, there's, uh, you have a good keyboard player with you on some of that stuff on the album, I bet. Yeah, with, yeah, with yeah, Glenn. Yeah, yeah, good. Yeah. I'm sorry I didn't get you on it, man, because you're oh, a no. killer keyboard player. No, no, um, there's lots of players out there. There is, and yeah. there's uh, different players for every purpose. Yeah, right. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. For sure. So you've got uh, a show tonight. What else are you doing? What's coming up? Uh, what's coming up? Uh, I got another show with Ray in Cape Breton coming up. Ah, good. And then uh, I go to Harvest in Fredericton, the Harvest Festival, yeah. next week. I got a s two solo shows there. I'm Great. playing with Matt Anderson there in the Big Bottle of Joy. Yeah. Uh, and I'm playing with, just got back together with this trio that existed in the past. It's uh, called the Lockdown Trio. It's Kim Dunn and Chris Kirby and myself. Oh, fantastic! It's all original music. I've, I've seen some of that. Yeah, yeah, we've seen we some of that. Sing, Great. Uh, you know, our original songs. We kind of Great. Yeah, so it's cool, man. So we're doing two of those shows in Harvest. So, and then after that, are you going to hang around Nova Scotia, or do you tour with Oh, yeah, anybody no, I or? really have no... Uh, I was out quite a bit in the fall, or in the uh, spring, yeah. and a lot of one-offs in the summer. And a big Matt Anderson tour, big that Matt was Anderson crazy, tour, yeah. yeah. that was five weeks, 22 folks. Um, with the Hello Darlings were the opening act. It was great, man. Yeah. Um, and they're coming here, actually. Couple weeks from now. Yeah. Oh, I do have a during the Huff uh, Halifax Urban Folk Festival. I'm doing a Mary Gauthier. Oh, on fantastic! Saturday the thirtieth. Now there's a songwriter everybody yeah. should listen yeah. to. So yeah. me, Tom Easley, and uh, Phil Sedora are doing it. Fantastic. Yeah. All right, thank you. <laughs> Thankfully, I don't do that anymore. It was the biggest graveyard, biggest Jewish graveyard in Toronto. We, we used to have this, uh, and the rabbi and all the folks would show up at the same time, normally time, normal, you know, usually. But we had one guy, we called him Rabbi Rai, because he arrived before as we were still digging the grave. And he would show up in his um, limousine, basically, with a, a bottle of rye and some Dixie cups, and he'd bring them over to us and give us a shot do the service, throw the last bit of dirt on it. Everybody would leave. He'd stay, get his rye whiskey out and uh, Dixie cups and give us a drink. Rye, uh, <laughs> Rabbi Rye. Yeah. Uh, so this came out of, uh, obviously, uh, it's obvious, I should say, where this came out of, this song. It used to be called hidebound, and that's such an old word, so I just kind of updated it.
Thank you. We all know how that feels. And hopefully we don't have to feel like that again. That's right. Uh, this is for a couple of friends uh, of mine uh, at the bar. I think they're still at the bar. Anyway, I don't know if anybody here else has been to uh, Bangkok. It's a really great city. Um, this is a, a little, I guess, vignette or something. I loved it there. Walked around getting tattoos and linen suits made. West be east and east be west. Where they meet is in 
no one's guess about how they praise for what you want, what you bring home might not be who you thought. Hermes tell her, man, be your friend. Don't need to be a sailor. Get that needle in your skin. So make your way through the dust and smoke. Like a Bangkok dog in a long tail boat. Well, now you're all fitted in your fine linen suit. Just like a monk. Getting all tattooed, catch a long tail boat to white pole temple, lines of golden statues so transcendental. Wait in line for the palace of the king, snake tail barbecue for that temple bell ring. So make your way through the dust and smoke. Like a Bangkok dog in a long tail boat. Well, Bangkok dogs in a long tail boat. Well, Bangkok dogs in a long tail boat. That can happen too. Bangkok dog scuffing through the street. Take no time at all to find what it needs. The food keeps cooking on them market grills between the tuk tuks and the traffic kills. The village life ain't no metaphor. The city's so tight from the river to the door. Well, make your way through the dust and smoke. Like a Bangkok dog in a long tail boat. Bangkok dogs in a long tail boat. Bangkok dogs in a long tail boat. West be east and east be west. Where they meet is anyone's guess. All right. Thank you very much. And things can go sideways there. Where did you grow up? Uh, I'm an Army brat, born in Edmonton, lived there two weeks, moved to Montreal, lived there four years. Moved to Germany, a couple of different places, and then eventually moved to Calgary, and then eventually ended up here. Wow. In 1970 or 71. And then just bopping around. <laughs> <laughs> Went to Ottawa, moved, lived in Ottawa, Toronto. Right. Know, as yeah. an adult, or what I, I thought I was an adult. <laughs> <laughs> we, we, we never grow up. No. <laughs> but, but uh, yeah, well, that's great. And it's a lovely province, of course. So yeah, absolutely, yeah, man. Yeah, I live on the water. I've been doing a lot of kayaking. I got boats and yeah. been doing all that yeah. stuff. The yeah. stuff that you do when you're living on the ocean. Yeah. 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 Swimming included. Oh, my God. Last yeah. month and a half, man. It's been warm, warm water. Yeah. yeah. Crazy. Yeah. So you've got um, uh, kayaks. Hmm. Carpentry, what else is there? Um, there's something else on my brain that was... Dancing? No. You know, it's funny. I've There's a lot of musicians I know <laughs> that can't dance. I think I could right? if they I have, actually like, did, they have but good, I don't. <laughs> they have good timing and all that. I know, man. It's crazy. Can't dance, yeah, can't control the body, can't get the feet <laughs> to work in one, two, three, you know, like a box, my whatever, wife, a walk. My, my wife, Bernie, man, she's up. She's the first one up on the floor. Yeah. When she's uh, when uh, you know I'm doing a gig or she's at, we're at a gig right. together or whatever, she's the one who gets everybody up. Yeah. And sometimes she tries to grab me and stuff, but yeah. I'm just like, ah. You're listening to Jeff Arsenal on Songwriters from Here and Away. You can catch more episodes, past episodes, and future on Podbean. Look up Songwriters from Here and Away dot Podbean dot com, and you can catch all the shows there. And here's a track. Two bodies, one soul. Your heart is silver. Your lips are 
Tonight you're going to play a few tunes. I'll play my most, tunes. Mostly from the album, the uh, new, new the, stuff? Or? Uh, a couple from the past two records, actually, and then yeah. the, the rest, I think, from the new a stuff. Yeah. 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 I'm going to do one more tune, I believe, if that's cool. And then uh, mm. really looking forward to having uh, Ray up there. And, uh, this is just a, this is a love song. I've been a gambler, my feet have been cold. I have a method keeps me in control. Well, she is a sure thing with ever roll now. I roll with my baby, my Cajun soul. Full true direction when the needle shakes. Degrees of correction have all but escaped. Call for my captain on this riverboat. 
Roll with my baby, my Cajun soul. Cross many borders, played many hands. When I reach the Delta, I hope to understand this river we travel is so very old. Now I'm just a player looking for gold. Just that I could feel her keeps me mighty sharp. Now I've had the good sense to stay on board and roll with my baby, my Cajun soul. Crossed many borders, played many hands. When I reach the Delta, I hope to understand this river we travel is so very old. Now I'm just a player. Looking for gold. I've had the good fortune of fine company to have the cause I'm holding and nothing up my sleeve. I'm playing my hand and I ain't gonna fold. Roll with my baby, my Cajun soul. Crossed many borders, played many hands. When I reach the Delta, I hope to understand this river we travel is so very old. Now I'm just a player, yeah, I'm just a player looking for gold. All right, thanks so much, folks. I appreciate it. Thank you. I'm going to gather my stuff and get out of here. Do you have a website? Oh, man, I had a website. But, you know, I didn't it's pay, somewhere. I didn't pay the bill. Facebook. <laughs> Facebook. Facebook, kind of, yeah, yeah. So I don't really have a Facebook. Yeah, I guess okay. that's my yeah. thing. Yeah. Whatever it gets But whatever. your tunes are online. And yeah. I think that with the new record, and I think my old ones, too, I'll probably end up doing, uh, I think, it, what is it, Bandcamp? Yep. Yeah. yeah. And And... Title is another one, right? I think that's another one. Yeah. Actually, Bandcamp is probably the best. Yeah, isn't it? that's that's, that's the one. Yeah. yeah, that's the one I'm always yeah. talking about. But yeah, the stuff's there, and yeah. I got no physical. Well, I do have a bunch of physical things, but they're uh, CDs. But they're uh, yeah. you know in the closet in a right. box. Yeah, coasters. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. If there's anything that you're not playing tonight that you'd like people to hear, mm. any particular song, what okay. might that be? Super for a day. Okay. It's called. <laughs> yeah. How did that come about? That was, came about living in a uh, co-op in Toronto, uh, artist co-op. And um, I wasn't really a superintendent, but I, I was a guy on call sometimes. And yeah. I'd do things to help people in yeah. the building. So yeah. I, just, I just took it to another place. <laughs> <laughs> good. Well, yeah. we'll probably spin that one. Yeah, then. great, man. Yeah, good. And good. that's uh, Kim Dunn's on it. Uh, Brian Bourne's on it. Uh, Chris C Chris Corgan might be playing on it. Anyway. Yeah, yeah. cool. Well, we'll spin that. Yeah, and, man. And uh, thanks for playing. Cool. Thank good. you. Yeah, good. All right. We'll see you later. Thanks, buddy.
Now is enough. My blade is finally home. And my cuts to your meat so tough won't cut like your crow. Good morning, rooster. Your day's begun. Ain't nothing like it. Thank you. 